a warm greetings to everyone agriculture makers team welcomes you to this video and i am very much glad to meet you all again in this video and in this video we are going to see the basics of sericulture and come on let's get into the video it may be useful for your ibps afo preparation kindly make note of everything very firstly silk is actually the secretion of silk worm from its salivary gland it is important point make note of it and this silk is made up of two important protein namely outer sericin it is one of the previous year a4 question and inner fibronin these are the proteins from which silk is made up of this sericin is of 25 percentage and fibronin is of 75 percentage there are mainly four important types of silk including mulberry silk tassar silk muga silk and eri silk few other types of silks are also there but these four are majorly considered as important ones coming to that of the colors of the silk mulberry is said to be white or creamy in color your tassar silk is brown or coppery in color and your muga silk it is golden yellow color and then comes your eri silk it is white or brick red in color and this eri silk is known as poor man silk make note of it eri silk is poor man silk coming to the next the host trees the host tree for mulberry silk it is already in the name it is mulberry tree the host for tassar silk it is asan arjun ber oak sal and fig these are the host trees for tassar silk coming to your muga silk the host tree is som and solu coming to your eri silk the host tree is castor so that it is known as poor man silk coming to that of the next the scientific name for mulberry silk worm is bombyx mori and then for your tassar silk worm it is antheria antheria papia one more species also is there antheria melisha these are the two important species of tassar silk worm and coming to the next your muga silk antheria asama this one is mulberry silk these two are tassar silk and the third one it is muga silk coming to the next the scientific name of your eri silk worm is phyllosamia resini reading this names also important because in the 2020 21 question paper they have asked what is the scientific name of tassar silk worm if you have read this basic questions means also you might have answered that it is very important to read all this basics coming to the next to your institutes central sericulture research station is located at pehrampur west bengal coming to the next central silk board is located at bangalore 
சென்ட்ரல் செரிகல்ச்சர் ரிசர்ச் அண்ட் ட்ரைனிங் இன்ஸ்டிடியூட் இஸ் லொக்கேட்டட் அட் மைசூர் அண்ட் தென் நெக்ஸ்ட் சென்ட்ரல் முகா எரி ரிசர்ச் அண்ட் ட்ரைனிங் இன்ஸ்டிடியூட் இஸ் லொக்கேட்டட் அட் டிட்டிபார் அசாம் மேக் நோட் ஆஃப் இட் அண்ட் தென் நெக்ஸ்ட் சென்ட்ரல் டசார் ட்ரைனிங் அண்ட் ரிசர்ச் இன்ஸ்டிடியூட் இஸ் லொக்கேட்டட் அட் ராஞ்சி ஜார்கண்ட் கமிங் டு த நெக்ஸ்ட் தி சில்கோம் ஸ்பீசிஸ் ஆர் கிளாசிஃபைட் இன் டு யூனிவோல்டைன் ஆர் பைவோல்டைன் ஆர் மல்டிவோல்டைன் இட் இஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் தேர் ப்ரீடிங் ஹேபிட் இஃப் இட் ப்ரீட்ஸ் ஒன்ஸ் இன் அ இயர் தென் இட் இஸ் கால்ட் யூனிவோல்டைன் இஃப் இட் ப்ரீட்ஸ் ட்வைஸ் இன் அ இயர் இட் இஸ் கால்ட் பைவோல்டைன் அண்ட் இஃப் இட் ப்ரீட்ஸ் மோர் தென் ட்வைஸ் இன் அ இயர் தென் இட் இஸ் கால்ட் மல்டிவோல்டைன் இட் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கொஷின்ஸ் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஆஸ்க் இன் த ப்ரீவியஸ் இயர் தட் இஸ் டியூரிங் டூ தௌசண்ட் நைன்டீன் silk is said to be பைவோல்டைன் and eri silks are said to be multivoltine coming to the next in india one silk bale equals 50 kg similarly your cotton is equal to 170 or 160 they used to say na like that silk bale is said to be one equals 50 kg and then the term mounting refers to transferring the matured fifth instar to mountage or cocoonage is said to be mounting remember mounting refers to transferring the fifth instar pupa to cocoon or mountage is said to be mounting coming to the next word it is stiffling stiffling refers to killing of pupa killing of pupa of the silk worm inside the cocoons is said to be stiffling coming to the next it is reeling reeling refers to removal of threads that is silk from the killed cocoons that is it is the next stage of stiffling after killing we will be removing the thread from the pupa and it is said to be reeling this is also previous year question coming to the last thing the most important diseases of silkworms includes febrine it is one of the most important and dangerous diseases and flatshire muscadine and then grassery g r a s s e r i e these are all the most important diseases of silkworm if you want to go in depth means you just read the causal organism names and also symptoms and also curative measures for these diseases and with this we are winding up i hope this class will be very much useful to you Thank you for all your supports and do subscribe to our channel for the next earliest updates by tapping on the bell icon and do like share and comment if you like the video thank you and see you all again